We begin with breaking news out of Providence right now at 5 o'clock. This local man found guilty in the murder of his former girlfriend's six-year-old son. And just a short time ago, jurors convicted Michael Patino in an emotional courtroom. Patino had been dating the young boy's mother, Trisha Oliver, in 2009. Prosecutors proved Patino punched the boy in the stomach. It caused severe damage that ultimately killed Marco Nieves. They said the boy was treated like a punching bag. After just over one full day of deliberations, the jury handed down the verdict just before three this afternoon. A first degree murder conviction was also possible in the case, as well as manslaughter or acquittal. Good evening, everyone. I'm Patrice Wood. And I'm Dan Janik. We want to get right to NBC 10 Sierra Putman. She's live at the courthouse in the province. Sierra? Well, Dan and Patrice, I can tell you the family of six-year-old Marco Nieves was in tears as this verdict came down. And the Cranston police chief tells me they are overjoyed that Patino was found guilty. Question two. As to the charge in the indictment against defendant that he did commit the offense of second degree murder against Marco Neves, how do you find? Guilty. Michael Patino is now a convicted the murderer. The Central Falls man was found guilty of killing his girlfriend's six year old son. Prosecutors proved that he beat Marco Neves so badly the little boy suffered internal damage, which led to his death in October of 2009. We're pleased with today's verdict. It doesn't bring back Marco. Um, it took a long time to get to this location today to get this verdict. Cranston Police uh, Chief Colonel please, Michael uh, Winquist says only. this is also vindication for his department. Some of the most damning evidence might have came from text messages Patino sent to Marco's mother saying he punched a child in the stomach. The judge initially threw out the evidence by a higher court allowed it in. Do you think you could have gotten that guilty verdict without those text messages, without those phone records? That I don't know. I mean, that would really be a question for the jury. But I think those text messages were very important in reaching uh, today's verdict of guilty second degree murder. Now that the verdict is in, everyone waits for the sentencing stage. Now, the state did offer Patino a deal before the trial began. If he had accepted, he would have served 50 with only 35 years in prison to serve. He now faces up to life in prison. Reporting live in Providence, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News.